Hi, welcome to the Tuki Tuki channel. In this video, we are going to create our first animation using our Tuki Tuki Desk tool that you can find in our website. Today, we are going to animate a superhero flying over a city or whatever landscape you want to use as a background. It's a simple animation and it's fun. I hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. I am assuming that you already installed Tuki Tuki Desk in your computer. In case you don't, please visit our website, myfloresta.com. Go to the download section and get it. Remember, it's free. Now, to make our animation exercise, we will need only two images. One of the superhero you want to animate, you can create it by yourself as I did it, or just download it from the internet. And one for the background you want to use for your animation. In my case, the background will be a city landscape. To achieve a great result, it's important to pay attention to these recommendations. First, the image of your superhero must be a PNG file with transparency enabled or an SVG file. Don't use a JPG image for your character, cause this format doesn't support transparency, creating an ugly effect when you put it over the background. Second. You can use any format for your background image. It doesn't affect the result. But you have to pay attention to the left and the right borders of the landscape you choose, because they must fit. I mean, there must be a correlation between the left border and the right border of your background. Why is that? Because we want to create the illusion of an endless landscape that is moving forward. I want to show you two images to explain my point better. Pay attention to the bottom image. Do you see the line that appears in the middle? It's very easy to recognize that in this example there is not continuity between the left border and the right border of that image. Now, let's check the image above. Can you recognize a vertical line in the middle of the image? It's hard to find it because this background was created defining a correlation between both left and right borders. So the illusion of an infinite canvas can be generated. Ok, now that we have the two images required for this exercise, let's start working from Tupitu Desk. I'm going to start a new project using a small dimension, 640 pixels for 480 pixels just to make easier the render of the animation. But if you want to create videos to use them from platforms like YouTube, I recommend you to use the HD format, which is 1280 pixels for 720 pixels. Anyway, let's create it. After that, our next step is to import our background image into the scene. To do that, we have to select the dynamic background option from the combo at the top menu. Then, we will import our landscape from the library panel, clicking the plus button and selecting the image we want to use. In my case, a view of the city full of buildings. It's important to understand that in the middle of this scene, I will place my superhero flying to the right. So I'm going to need that my background moves to the left to generate the effect I want to. That's the reason I will choose left to the movement orientation parameter for my landscape. Now, I'm going to switch to the frames mode to add some frames. So I can show you how my background is moving for now. As you can notice, it is moving too slow, at least for my taste. So I'm going back to the dynamic background mode to increment the shift length parameter, which defines how many pixels the landscape will advance in every frame. I will choose 20. Then I press enter key to get back to the scene preview and check the new speed of my animation. Can you notice that now it's faster? And more important, can you notice the continuity glitch in some points of the animation? Well, to fix the continuity issue, it's important that you understand the relationship between the width of your background image, 
the shift length parameter and the number of frames of your animation. In other words, to get the perfect illusion of continuity, you have to ensure that the frames total of your animation is a multiple of the division of the width of your background image by the shift length parameter value. So, in my case, I will have to calculate 640 pixels divided by 20 pixels. The result is 32 frames. That's the minimum multiple I could use to generate the infinite loop illusion I'm looking for. Now, as I want to create a longer animation, I will multiply 32 by 4, which means I will use 128 frames. So let's create the missing frames. So, if I check my animation once again, I will notice that the glitch has disappeared. The endless loop illusion is working now, and that's the reason I love mathematics. The missing step to finish my animation is to add my superhero into the scene, so I have to switch to the static background mode right now. The next step is to import my superhero image from the library panel in the same way I added my landscape previously. By default, the image is centered in the middle of the scene, but using the selection tool, I can move my character to any position I wish, but in my case, I will leave it at the scene center. Now, I press Enter key once again to switch to the scene preview tab, and ta-da! My animation exercise is done. So it's time to export my animation as a video. So I press the export button in the bottom menu and I just follow the wizard, selecting the MP4 format. Then I click Nest, once again Nest, and finally I choose a name for my video file. Once the process is finished, my video file is ready to be reproduced by any video player or to be part of any of my future YouTube productions. This is the happy end of the exercise. So, how it was it? Easy, right? Now, if you have additional questions about this exercise, please leave a comment. And subscribe to our channel, we are needing followers to create more and more fun content. See you in the next one!